And we are back. Uh, a few people have said that I sound bunged up and that's because I'm ill. I kind of am and it's kind of my microphone as well. So it's not as bad as it sounds. It's winter and we're coming to Christmas. So I'm bound to probably sound a lot worse than this pretty soon. I wonder if you kill those and you get credits. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, no. Okay, that was pointless. I'm sorry. I think that is where the hollow. well, Datacron is. And leap. I know it's kind of showing off doing that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very cool move. Very helpful for the third Datacron on here as well. As there will be a enemy stood by the Datacron. Well, there should still be. Unless they've changed it. You can move to get up there. It's hard, I'm not sure where all the lore objects are to get a bit more XP, so I'm just keeping my eye out. And mine's run past the tape pad again. There we go. They found me! Oh, Matriarch, forgive me! The flesh raiders are here. I can't fight them. The patrol is too far away. I can't. Goodbye, my son. My matriarch, goodbye. Oh, well, that's sad. Okay, I guess we're gonna destroy the elixirs first. Let's get them out of the way. There's one over there. Oh, I think. Oh. These are fairly easy with the destroying. Anything that's to do with collecting or destroying, if you actually move away for a while, if you can't find any more. I mean, these are pretty simple. I'm fine. Uh, I do. Activate. Leave it like five minutes. The first one is to activate, so you can get them again. Which is kind of a cheating way of doing it. There's a few more quests further up the road where it's going to be quite time consuming to look around. So it's kind of a cheap way to get it. It's not an important quest, is it? I like how when this game was coming out, I was saying how they got rid of the normal go here, kill 10 things. I mean, they pretty much have, but they decided to add that as a bonus extra bonus mission. So, kind of a good way to keep normal and give you XP, I guess.
I should probably have sped this up. Oh. What's this down the bottom of the cave? I think it splits up again, so it's only in one different time this. I think I'll be splitting up Martin at this point. And he's bugged. Okay. Oh, there we go. That was weird. I hope there's um, a few books in here, like the ones in Red Dead Redemption with the donkey lady. A few things like that. I don't mind the onion bugs, but the bugs where you're standing around for a couple of minutes waiting for the conversation to start is kind of annoying. But anything that will be funny, I'm all up for that. I'm one for that comedic bugs. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. One Jedi Knight phase. And there's a little surprise through here. So I will stop talking now and they go to the cutscene. Once they have all this, the Twi'leks can defend themselves. Don't worry, little guy. I'll get you out of here. Good thing the Flesh Raiders don't eat droids. Teach our soldiers how to use these weapons. Train them on the Twi'lek invaders. When will we strike against the Jedi? Patience, Caliph. The Jedi will fall when our army reaches full strength. I never understood the need for restraining bolts anyway. <laughs> 
So there you have it. G701 is now your companion. He is by far the best character of the game so far for me. Just keep an eye out for anything he says in conversations. He's just brilliant. Alright, now I can get rid of the left quick slot and put him in there. There we go. Normally you don't really need to do much. He basically has a few abilities you can turn on, like a um, grenade. Uh, he has a zipline move in a few levels, so he can take aggro off you. He does need grading though. But there's a few basic stats for you. What my lightsaber? So in fact, T701 will be leaving you shortly. He comes back to you about level 8. And just after that you'll be getting your lightsaber. In fact, I think you get your lights in the first and then you get to the one. There we go, that was just to show you, to show you that he takes echo easy. Oh, this is Let's see how this looks. Just need a new top. No. Let's just head it back now. Hopefully that faded to black fine. There's really nothing to see on the way back. If I just cut it. Oh, it's not put me in. That's weird. Jedi, you're back. What happened out there? Where's my father? He's at peace now. I brought you his ring. This is all that's left of him? Those monsters. Tell me you cut them into pieces for what they did! I went out there to save a man's life, not to satisfy your thirst for blood. So you let those monsters live? I should be grateful to you for finding out the truth, but you desecrate my father's memory. Jedi fight for peace, not to kill. So far as I can see, Jedi fight for nothing. Leave me to grieve. We won't speak again. Well, that was a bit harsh. Is it me or does he sound a lot older than his father did? Okay, I think after this... Nope, probably not even after this cutscene. This time is nearly up. So I guess I'll just talk to this person here, and that will be it. So I'll see you next video. You look well, Jedi. I'm glad the Flesh Raiders didn't hurt you. Did you destroy the Dark Elixir? I've done as you wished. You've rid the world of an evil thing. The Flesh Raiders may brew their Dark Elixir again, but we won't make it easy. I am grateful for what you've done. Take this gift with my blessing. For now, I leave you in peace.